Hello everyone, welcome to this grammar lesson from Afghanistan English Campus. Today we are going to talk about past continuous tense and the passive voice. We have already made many videos about active tenses and also the introduction of passive voice. I want you to go to our channel, watch those videos, make sure to understand everything about active tenses and passive voice itself. Then come and watch this video to understand the structure of past continuous and the passive. So let's begin, let's talk about past continuous tense and the passive. When we talk about past continuous and the passive, it shows an ongoing action in the past. Uh, something that was ongoing, something that was in progress in the past. We talked, we talk about it, we talk about it with the past continuous. The structure of past continuous in the active, we have subject plus was and were plus uh, verb ing plus object plus complement. We need object uh, to change the sentence to passive voice. Without object, we cannot change it to passive. In the passive form, this object comes in the beginning. It comes in the beginning, acts as a subject. Then was and were plus uh, being plus verb three plus complement. We always use verb three in the passive voice. So let's come to some of the examples. Here I have written three examples in the active and passive both to understand it better. Uh, the first sentence says the police was chasing the thief. Uh, what is the subject in this sentence? The police was chasing the verb form of past continuous tense. The thief is the object. When we change it to passive, we bring this object in the beginning. It acts as a subject. The thief was being chased by the police. And there we say, uh, police the the taqib dost but yani dost the taqib kadra on but the shakla passive megim. The thief was being chased by the police. Those that hold a taqib shodan boot, that the police. Mo metanim by the police zikr konim, wa yo ham metanim zikr na konim. Jumla kamelas, wale wakht kmo aga bokhaim subject tom da akhir zikr konim, ba kalimi by metanim zikrish konim. Second sentence. In the second sentence, my friend was buying the car yesterday. My friend was buying the car yesterday. The subject, my friend, uh, was buying verb form. The car object yesterday is the time expression. It's the adverb, adverb of time. When we change it to passive, this object comes in the beginning, the car. The car comes in the beginning and the verb form of past continuous in the passive. The car was being bought, was being bought yesterday. We do not need to mention the subject. In Derry we say, Dostama dar hal khareedariya mutar bud diruz. Da zaman machhul megim mutar dar hal khareeda shudan bud diruz. Yani ek kas bud ko mutar mei khareed, wale da pasif ma ya ke anjam dehendi amala penhan mei kanem ya ke muhim nes ya ke nami khayim zikr ba kanem zikr nami sham. Mutar dar hal khareeda shudan bud. Sentence number three. My my mom was making a cake last night. Who was making the cake? My mom. The subject was making verb form of past continuous in the active. Uh, a kick, the object, last night is a time expression. Now, when we change it to passive, we bring the object in the beginning. A kick comes in the beginning. A kick was being made. Was being made the verb form of pre, uh, past continuous in the passive. Last night is a time expression. Dadari agar bugoyim, مادر ما در حال جور کردن یا ساختن یا پختن یک کیک بود شب گذشته در زمان مشغول میگیم یا کیک در حال جور شدن بود یا کیک در حال پخته شدن بود شب گذشته سو اکتیو فورم پاسیو فورم ویش یو اندرستود دس واز اور لیسن فور تو دی دی پاس کنٹینیوس ان دی پاسیو استل یو نیڈ تو میک میک مور سینسز یو ہیو ا لیست اف وربس میک شور تو یوز دیز وربس اند میک سم مور سینسز اف پاس کنٹینیوس ان دی پاسیو Thank you so much. Uh, wish you a best of luck. Talk to you next time.